Now, a few weeks ago, Speed's Robin Miller broke the story of the latest merger offer, which included free cars and engines to any Champ Car teams who commit to the next two IndyCar seasons. This week, Robin was first with word that things have progressed a lot farther. He joins us now live from Indianapolis. Robin, tell us where things stand right now. Bobby, Tony George is about two or three hours away from having a meeting with Robert Clark of Honda, and they're over in Japan to talk to the people at, at Honda of Japan who own the Motegi racetrack. And the big hang-up or, or, or the, big, the, the big problem right now is, is Long Beach is scheduled in the same week as Motegi. So Tony and, and Robert Clark are trying to convince them this is the biggest thing that's happened in the last 12 years. We really need you guys to move this race maybe to early August or maybe into the fall or maybe even postpone it for a year to try and get this thing back together because no matter what Kevin Kalkoven has said over the last three or four days, what he told me on Thursday was him and Jerry Forsythe were all for Tony running everything. The big, big thing they needed was Long Beach because their contract's up and they want to be at Long Beach, and that's the last stumbling block to putting this thing together. So, Robin, is it fair to say then that Honda is the key to whether all this happens? Well, yeah, you don't want to, I mean, it's, I mean, they shouldn't get the blame because it kind of got thrown in their lap. that They said, hey, listen, you know, if you guys don't change the date, this thing's not going to happen. I mean, I mean, I'm, I think Long Beach said, no, we're locked in. We can't get off this date. We've got to do it. We've got to deal with the city. And I think from most fans' perspective, they're like, well, why can't they move the race in Japan? And I think they will move the race in Japan. I think, uh, I mean, I don't know, maybe I'm stupid, but I think I'm optimistic that something good is going to happen here in the next 24 hours, and this thing's finally going to get decided. Well, Robin, you've reported that reaction from the teams on both sides has been positive. Look at the worst case scenario. If a deal cannot be struck, what's to prevent Champ Car teams from leaving for the IndyCar series on their own? Nothing. And that's what I think, that, that's probably the second domino, Bobby, because if this thing doesn't get together because of Long Beach and Motegi, Derek Walker's got an IRL car in his shop. He doesn't have a sponsor. His partner owes him a million and a half dollars from last year's champ car season. What's he going to do? He's probably going to take Tony George's offer, isn't he? What about Newman Haas and Lanigan? Well, Carl Haas has told his staff, look, I'm not sure what we're going to do yet. And I talked to Carl a little while ago, and he said, I'll know in a couple days. Let's just see how this thing shakes out. But if you lose Newman Haas, Lanigan, and Derek Walker, there's going to be a merger anyway, kiddies. Well... Robin, Kevin Kalkovin's been quoted as saying this whole deal may collapse because the press found out about it. That's basically you, my friend. Do you buy that? Yeah. Well, he said so much stuff. I think I, I want to remind him of this. Uh, two years ago when the thing got leaked to Auto Week, that was one of Kevin Kalkovin's owners that did that leak job. Nobody in the media. And secondly, the story I wrote is not going to have any effect on whether the Japanese decide to move Motegi or not. And in, a, in about a 24-hour period, Kevin said, Jerry and I are together. Then he said, there's no deal. Then he told me, it's off. It's not going to happen. Then he said, it's based on whatever Motegi wants to do. So I think Kevin's been going back and forth from Australia. He must just be confused. Okay, Robin Miller, this story's got legs. It's got a long way to go, and I know you'll be working it for us here and at SpeedTV.com. Thank you.